Analytics help us understand user behavior in our application, track what features are or aren't being used, and offer a plethora of other information regarding our application and the traffic coming to it. They're pretty important for most modern web applications, and today I'm going to show you how to set them up in your SvelteKit application. So there's a chance that you have received a Slack message, maybe, from a marketer and uh, someone on your team, of course, um, and it tells you to add this script to the website. You may not have any idea how to add it, um, and today I'm going to show you how. So whether you're doing this on your own or you're following the instructions from someone else on your team, this should help you get up and going with your SvelteKit application. Go ahead and copy your code. And I'm just gonna go into my layout here. So this is my layout. There's nothing special going on. Um, there's you know a script tag, uh, a nav bar here, some children inside the nav bar, and then a slot. Really nothing crazy. So what we can do is we are going to wanna say if, browser, and we want to import that from app environment. We only want to run this in a browser's context. Now I'll paste that tag value, and we have a little bit of cleanup to do. This script doesn't make sense anymore, so we can remove that. This script needs to find a new home, so we can do that. And this comment doesn't make sense. So we'll remove that. Now, if I come back down to the bottom, I don't have a Svelte head at the moment, so I'm gonna add one now, and we'll add this script. And this is your Google Analytics ID. Make sure this value matches the one in your portal right here. Um, it also should be the same as this one. Okay, so now that we have this, we need to make a couple small changes. So for example, we need to make sure the g tag, oops, window g tag. We need to make sure that the g tag function is available on the window. We also need to make sure that this isn't data layer dot push. It's window dot data layer dot push. And then this should be window dot g tag, and this should also be window dot g tag. I'm going to go ahead and format this document so it's a little more bearable to look at. And I'm gonna create one more TypeScript file here um, in just a second. And, and the reason why is like, if you're, if you're just doing JavaScript, I'm using TypeScript up here, um, you should be fine. Like you should be able to run with this and this should work out fine. Um, but if you are just doing, if you're doing TypeScript like I am, um, obviously data layer doesn't exist on the window, gtag doesn't exist on the window. So we need to make sure that we tell TypeScript that these things are going to exist on the window. So I'm just gonna type window.ts for a new file name, and I'm gonna declare interface window. We're gonna say data layer is equal to I arguments, and it's a list, so we'll put the uh, square brackets there. And then we need to define our gtag function, which may or may not exist, and in our case, it's args any, and it returns a type of void. Now my ESLint settings are pretty particular, so I've got a couple things that I need to handle here. Um, specifically, no explicit any is one that I have turned on. We're gonna go ahead and disable it for that line. And then this one indicates that this is unused. Um, it's not unused because it's affecting the window in this file. So with that in mind, now if you start your application, and hit your page, you should start collecting Google Analytics data. And that about does it. That's how you set up Google Analytics for your SvelteKit application. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel so that you can get notifications whenever I publish new SvelteKit videos, as well as other content like Flutter tutorials and Bun and Node tutorials as well. Have a great day.